In the new clip for the HBO cartoon, Prince George tells Meghan to stop now as the Duchess of Sussex talks about flying with JetBlue in their business class. This comes as Harry came under fire for using a private jet to Colorado months after preaching about climate change. In the video, shared by creator Gary Ginetti, Harry says, Hello all, sorry we TM relate. Our flight was delayed you know, JetBlue. Catty George snaps back, we don TMT no. Gross. Megan tells the family, it was mint though, before turning to Harry and saying, tell them we were in mint. Kate Middleton replies back instead, sarcastically saying, they gave you a mint. How lovely for you. I have some gum in my purse if you TMD like. But Megan tells her, no, we were in mind. It TMS like their business class. It TMS really nice. They give you these cookies and. Quickly George then cuts in and says, Megan, I TMM begging you to stop now. The HBO cartoon has already sparked a furious backlash in the UK, with an expert warning Britons will not tolerate attacks on the Queen. The new series centers on the life of eight-year-old Prince George and his encounters with the rest of the royals. The satirical cartoon, that pokes fun at the firm and portrays George as an entitled, spoilt child has been heavily criticized by leading commentators. Commentator Ryan Mark Parsons has accused the producers of going too far, branding the series as repulsive and cringe-worthy. He also hit out at the timing of its release and its contents, as it portrays the late Prince Philip as very old and close to death. See below for live updates. 12.30 PM update, Queen has picnic with great grandchildren at beloved beauty spot on and with key move the Queen is said to have spent a relaxing day out at one of her most beloved Scottish beauty spots. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, reportedly traveled eight miles from Balmoral for a picnic on Monday, according to royal commentator Richard Eden. He claimed the monarch visited Glen Mick known to be a beauty spot favorite by the sovereign. 11.30 AM update, Prince William heartbreak as hands tied over Afghanistan while Harry allowed to speak out Prince William is unable to comment on Afghanistan as he risks defying royal protocol, something which his brother Prince Harry is not subjected to as he stepped back from royal duties. The future king, who has completed more than seven years of full-time military service, is likely to be heartbroken by his inability to comment on the devastation caused in the Middle East. In 2010, William commented on his intention to serve in Afghanistan like his brother Harry, saying he had a real determination to go out there, but security issues were raised to prevent this especially after Harry was extracted over safety concerns in 2008. As a future king and senior royal, the Duke of Cambridge has to remain politically neutral, and therefore cannot comment on the current climate in Afghanistan. 11.15 AM update, Harry, William and Charles had a dance-off trademark after James Corden encouragement at wedding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding reception was a wild affair with dance-offs and beer pong, a documentary has revealed. Meghan and Harry invited Corden to their spectacular wedding in 2018. Held at Frogmore House in Windsor, 200 guests let their hair down at a raucous bash, according to The Mirror. In Channel 5 TMS 2020 documentary Meghan, Where Did It All Go Wrong? Royal author Katie Nichol recalled the glitzy occasion. She said, George Clooney was serving up cocktails and whisking Meghan and Kate around the dance floor. There was a dance-off, instigated by James Corden, between William, Charles, and Harry. I think it was really just a fantastic night where the couple were able to do things their way, from serving dirty burgers at midnight out of posh burger stalls in the grounds of Frogmore's, to handing out monogrammed slippers so that their guests, in those six-inch Louboutins or whatever they were wearing, could rest their weary feet come the end of the night. 11 AM update, Buckingham Palace most popular royal home ever yet Prince Charles costs more to visit royal residences across the country are open for visiting, and royal fans love to visit the range of historical castles, palaces, and highland estates. 
The royal family own 26 homes around the country, some of which are residences of individual members, and others are former palaces converted into museums. A study by Norfolk holiday providers Keck Country Cottages has looked at a range of different categories to name the UK's top royal residence. The UK is home to many fantastic royal residences ranging from Buckingham Palace, the official London residence of the Queen, to Sandringham House in Norfolk which is where the royal family spend Christmas. 10M Update Queen unlikely to welcome portrayal of Philip and Keeper of Secrets in the Crown The Queen is unlikely to welcome a new storyline in the upcoming fifth season of Netflix's drama The Crown, it has been claimed. The long-term friendship between Prince Philip and Penny Natchbull is to be featured in the next episodes of the Netflix fictional show portraying the lives and woes of the royal family. But one TV insider believes the Windsors will be far from pleased to see this association portrayed on screen. The insider told The Sun, the highly personal relationship it is unlikely to be welcomed as a storyline by the Queen or the rest of the royal family. 9.20am update, Meghan Markle's beloved UK charity issues devastating Afghanistan statement Meghan Markle's beloved UK animal charity Mayhew has issued a statement about their Afghanistan projects being suspended due to the current crisis. The charity, founded in 1886 and of which the Duchess of Sussex is a patron, issued a Twitter statement explaining that their ongoing programs based in the region have ceased due to the Taliban takeover. The devastating statement refers to continued concern from followers due to the team the charity has based in Afghanistan for their ongoing projects. The charity, whose work helps tackle causes of animal abandonment and neglect and supports vulnerable people to stay with their companion pets, has been affected by events in the region as the Taliban took control after 20 years of war. The statement confirmed that work cannot remain ongoing due to the current conditions, by saying, Mayhew Afghanistan has been operating two programs in Kabul, mass rabies vaccination and neutering. Both of these programs remain suspended. 8.50 AM update, Kate and William speak out for Queen and share delight ahead of Paralympics can't wait Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William issued a poignant message to British athletes taking part in the Paralympics. Kate and Prince William took to Twitter to wish Team GB the best as the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics begin. They wrote from their social media account, wishing at Paralympics GB and all the athletes from around the world the best of luck in this year's hashtag, Paralympics. We can TMT wait to see the talent and skill displayed over the next two weeks hashtag impossible to ignore. 8.20 AM update, caution before commitment, how the long-lasting royal couple Edward and Sophie met Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex are one of the strongest couples within the royal family, and Edward is the only child of the Queen to never divorce. While many of the royal marriages of their generation sadly ended in divorce, Sophie and Edward TMS love story has lasted well into the 21st century. Royal expert Ingrid Seward has said, the failures of the marriages of Edward's beloved sister Anne and then, in rapid and ever more embarrassing succession, Andrew and Charles, made him even more determined to put caution before commitment. Since marrying, the couple has welcomed two children their eldest daughter Lady Louise Windsor was born in 2000, and three and their son James, Viscount Seven in 2007. Both Edward and Sophie are regulars on the royal engagement calendar and Sophie is meant to be a firm favourite with the Queen due to never causing drama.